there everybody i'm going to show you all four operations with the stamp game i'm going to put them all in separate videos though so that if you're wanting a specific operation you don't have to watch all of the addition or the subtraction to get to the multiplication and so on so that you don't have to sift through all of that video um so first I want to start off, start off by saying that you probably don't have a stamp game at home. So one thing that you can do is you can um, cut some squares out. You don't even have to color the squares all of one color. You can just write, let's say I'm going to make some 100 tiles. I could just write it in red. If I was going to make some units, I could just write it in green and the tens would be what color? Yeah, blue. Of course I would need way more than this, but this is an example of what you can do to make your own. And then you would cut them out like that. I'm also going to include in the daily challenge email a template that already has all of the, um, the tiles on the sheet. And if you print it out, all you have to do is cut it. So it's up to you. Maybe you wanna make your own homemade um, without any help and that's fine too. Um, so let's review really quickly. We have our units, our units are always green. And how many units equals 110? Yeah, 10, 10 units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten units equals one ten. So our tens are blue, and how many tens equals one hundred? Well, let's try. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, so 10 units equals 110, and 10 10s equals 100. How many hundreds do you think are going to equal 1,000? Let's see if you're right. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 10 hundreds. Let's look. 10 and two zeros is 100. So that's the same as 1,000. Let's see how many we have there. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 units equals a 10, 10 tens equals 100, 10 hundreds equals 1,000. And why is this 1,000 green? I thought only units were green. Well, it's because this is the units of thousands. So the next category, if we had more tiles over here on this other side of the thousands would be 10,000 and it would be what color? Blue. And how many thousands would equal 10 thousands? 10. 10 is the magic number. Okay. So we need to remember this because we're going to need to be doing some exchanging. And 10 is always going to be that number that we want to remember for exchanging. So let's say we're doing this problem. Let's do 576 plus 635. You can write that down if you want to, if you're following along with a piece of paper. I'm gonna get the top number out first. I'm gonna start with my units. I like to start with my units so I don't get confused. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm 
six units. I need seven tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's right, isn't it? 576. Yeah, 70. Seven tens of 70. And you need 500s. 100, 200, 300, 400, 5 hundreds. I'm going to scoot this up a little bit so that we have enough room at the bottom for 635. I'm going to start with my units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm going to check the camera and make sure you can see all that. Yep, just barely. Okay. So we need to add three tens. Let's see how I'm leaving a space there. That's just so I don't get confused. I'm going to push them together once I get all of them out. 10, 20, 30. Three tens is 30, right? 635. Yeah. And I need 600s. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 600. Okay, so now I can push them together because I'm ready to add them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Remember, ten's the magic number, and we know ten units equals one ten. So I'm going to take these ten units. And I'm going to put them back in the box and I'm going to get one 10 out. It's really important that you get the 10 out. If you don't get the 10 out, you get the problem wrong. You'll get the problem wrong. So make sure that you do that. Okay. I have one unit left over. I'm going to write that down later. So I'm going to go over to my tens. I have the one that I just got out. I'm going to push it up to with the, with the rest of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Stop. I've got 10 tens, 10's the magic number. 10 tens equals 100. I have one 10 left over. I'm gonna push my 100 up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, stop. 10 hundreds equals what? 1,000, and it's okay. We don't have any thousands in our problem, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna have thousands in our answer. So now we can write our answer down. I'm gonna start with my units. Got one unit, one 10 left over, two hundreds, and 1,000. And you might say, well, that doesn't make sense. Six plus five is 11. Well, remember that we gave one, 10 of our 10s equaled one 10. We exchanged seven plus one is 10. I'm sorry, seven plus one is eight, nine, 10, 11. And we had 11 10s. We exchanged 10 of them for 100. Five plus one is six, six plus six is 12. We have two hundreds and one thousand. You don't have to do all this up here, but I wanted to show you that we were on the right track.